And we're seeing not just proof of concept, but actually some clinical effects. Neoagent literally just means a new antigen that forms from one of the mutations. And what's really, I think, special about neoantigens is those are really foreign to the body. Those, those are not something that's just you know, at a higher level on a cancer cell and lower level in normal parts of the body. Normal parts of the body don't have that mutation at all. So this is something that's truly cancer specific and really makes something an ideal target for the, for the development of a therapeutic vaccine. So is that even possible to do in the context of cancer therapy? We have to move pretty quickly. And that was the, the first challenge. And really starting in 2017, that's when people really start to show, yeah, you can actually, you can do this in real time. You can do it safely. You know, people, people do pretty well with it. And I think one of those reasons are we talked again about those sort of different levers on the immune system, the gas pedal, the brakes and the steering wheel. You know, when you press on the gas pedal, you're not telling the immune system to attack cancer and not normal, you're just pressing the gas and say when you're releasing the brakes. But when you're giving a vaccine, you're really giving it the steering wheel. You're really saying, go specifically to something that's in the cancer and ignore the regular parts of the body. And so the concept behind that is it's going to hopefully be more effective and less toxic. And it's early, but I think we're actually, you know, we're seeing some of those, those hopes beginning at least to bear out in terms of safety. And so, you know, Proof of concept initially, now we're starting to move into a phase where it's, I think, getting a lot more exciting, where larger number of patients are being treated, and we're seeing not just proof of concept, but actually some clinical effects. And there's been a couple studies recently, one in melanoma, aggressive skin cancer, one in a really hard to treat cancer, which is pancreatic cancer. And in both of these situations, really different types of cancer, the idea of a personalized vaccine, a neo ancient vaccine has really just, I think, opened up those fields. And so I think that's something in the coming years we have to pay close attention to because I think that that really has potential to, to change how we sort of think about uh, immunotherapy. You know,